All right, Geeks, I'm standing here with Mr. Alec Gillis. I nearly called you Sir Alec for a minute. That's fine, I'll oh, take it. Okay, very good. Um, now, if you could just tell your, the viewers your history, you know, you originally started out with Stan Winston and then you and Tom Woodruff Jr. founded uh, Studio ADI. Um, just a brief history about makeup and making monsters from, yeah. uh, from your so, point of view. For, first off, I like the way you just casually refer to your viewers as geeks. Oh yeah, because we geeks. are. We are all geeks. Come on, let's embrace that. I love it. <laughs> it's fantastic. Um, yeah, so uh, I've been in the business uh, for uh, God. I hate to say it. Thirty-seven years. We're going on thirty-seven years. ADI has been a company for th almost thirty years. Next year is our thirtieth anniversary. So, um, but uh, obviously, you know, we're known for uh, makeup, uh, like it. We've got that coming out soon. <laughs> Um, we just did some stuff on the Annabelle movie. We've done stuff on X-Men movies. Um, we're probably best known for the Alien and Predator work we've done. Um, we've got uh, you know a bunch of awards and crap like that. Um, but what I've been doing lately uh, is, uh, aside from the day job, you know, my fabulous day job is uh, trying to get some projects off the ground. We did do a couple of small in-house films, mm -hmm. and I want to do another one um, that is a sci-fi, more hardcore sci-fi uh, movie. So um, I needed a bunch of uh, guns, and uh, you and I just kind of stumbled across each other. We, um, Jen and I, came through on the tour, and you were great, and we started talking, and it was the Pirate Batman that kind of... Pirate Batman's pretty bitching, dude. Thank you. Yeah, and it's also awesome. So we did a, uh, a, a uh, we donated a tour for, uh, I think it was breast cancer, right? Yeah, a ca um, Cause for Entertainment was hosting. That's right, Cause for Entertainment, I should know these things. And um, your friend Jen was good enough to buy this tour. She brought you along, and I'm glad she did. We meet a lot of great people yeah. this way on tours. Um, so yes, your pirate Batman really, uh, really knocked me out, and, and I think that, um, you're gonna get somebody's gonna uh, somebody's gonna you're gonna get the cease and desist letter first <laughs> from, from Warner Brothers, Brothers right? And then and then the next thing you know, two years later, there's gonna be a, a you know bat beard or something. It's gonna be <laughs> starring Christian Bale or whatever the hell. So, uh, but anyway, no, I really love the work. And and then I I checked out your work online. And I thought, oh, hey, the guy's in town for another week. Why don't I grab him and uh, have him do some. Uh, refurb on some nerf guns and squirt guns and stuff my specialty yeah <laughs> and they're awesome so basically like the day the first day we started working together you pull up in your car you open your boot and just all these nerf guns come barreling out <laughs> so um basically what is the aim for the use of these like what are we going to be doing with well these? um so i i'm 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 a kind of an uh if you build it, they will come kind of guy, you know. So I have a, a script that I'm working on and there are certain aspects of the script that I know are written in stone. When I make the movie, I will need guns, right? Um, and, and yes, these are unmodified. I know you do a lot of clever stuff where you where you uh, add parts and pieces to, to the Nerf guns to disguise them a little bit because mm -hmm. I know the cosplayers are very sophisticated now. Yes. Um, and oh, yeah. you're all onto the tricks of the trade. So you'll be looking at a gun and, and you you'll recognize exactly what Nerf gun it is. And I agree with you, it's a little too, um, for my purposes, I can't do that for hero guns. We're going to make hero guns ourselves, which I'm designing currently. Um, but I've got plenty of uses for background guns and plenty of, I need cases of weapons, right, that people are, you know, using in the scene. I need sidearms that'll be in holsters, things like that. So um, that's why I just went to Target and bought the coolest looking stuff that I could find. Well, that's the thing, like we don't have these ones back home. It's just kind of like, oh, is that right? it's like the Murica version of the Nerf gun. And the Murican, yeah. Yeah, the Murican, but this was my favorite one to do. These guys here, as well as these, yeah. but I really wanted to up the ante with this. Yeah. And I learned a lot from you in terms of weathering techniques and you know you suggested adding the little stamps here you know this is like a, a serial a number yeah so so um what what kind of the you know i always think in terms of story context whether it's creature effects or props or what have you so in my story we're on another planet that uh has been has a small contingent of military personnel and colonists and um, there's the, the potential of a, of, a, of a native uprising, of an indigenous uprising. And they are desperate to have that not happen because they'll get overwhelmed. They're waiting for the next wave of supplies. So they've been living for about 15 or 20 years 
uh, off the stuff that they brought with them. So it makes sense that all this stuff is very grungy and, and worn yep. and, and not pristine and, and brand new. Um, so uh, that that's why uh, you know the grungy, the the, the, the knockdown, tech down stuff is really cool. And then I thought, well, maybe I've been thinking in terms of like, what's the, is there a kind of color that signifies this, the earth military, you know? And I thought, well, maybe we'll have touches of yellow in it. So these are just, even though they're, it's not really super thought out, right? It's not like, like, like I love what Neil Blomkamp does where he, he, you know, he'll come up with logos and develop an entire backstory. We're not quite going that far because we're sort of doing it off the cuff, which is what you do in low budget movies. But you literally came up with these insignias in like two minutes, just quickly masking taped off a little template. And yeah, it's just kind of working with the, it's, you know, with the shapes that you've got there yeah. and, and, and just doing touches of, of color. Um, I, I probably will, uh, as we get into it, develop some sort of like a patch or a, or a logo or something like that that we'll put on costumes. Yeah, absolutely. And, and, I'll, and I'll, I like having parameters, so I'll say like, well, I've already got yellow, these yellow. Things. What can I do with the, you know, with yellow for the, for the, for the insignias that um, that we can carry as a motif uh, through it? And, and, and you know, these things build upon each other. So this took me two days to do. Usually, when I do a tutorial on one Nerf gun, on and off, it's about three days. But I hammered these out. And I <laughs> yeah. Well, I like what you said. I said to him, like, I don't know, can we get can we get stuff done in a couple of days? And he said, Yeah, if I don't have to carry a camera with me yeah. and talk, <laughs> yeah. you know, to make it a tutorial, I can uh, do it very quickly. Well, like I said, I'm a one-man crew, so it's constantly do something, carry the camera around, set up the shot. But it's just nice to just be in my world, hammer this out, um, and just see this end result. And just I'm happy that you're happy with it. Yeah, that's that's all I wanted. But um, yeah, well, as a, as a California dude, I say it's bitching, man. Bitching, dude. Bitching, dude. That's just what we know back home. I know. Well, it's pretty much all of America's now. <laughs> We've all lowered to that to that level. I grew up in in Southern California, so it's just like how you guys all oh, yeah, mate. That's yeah, that's how we it. talk. All right. Uh, yes, we all do that, but we learned that we learned our Australian accent from watching George Miller movies. Oh, so mate. everything's over the top. But I, I, I do it all. Yeah, I, I just like I, I do the you know the, the South African, the New Zealand, and the Australian accent just go into a big pot. I love the weather guy. Um, what's his name? The uh, Richie Honcho. Taylor. Yeah, yeah, when he saw the eggs, the, the eggs. eggs. Yes, he's, he's yeah. The accents are. But this is what's fun about. Um, we were talking about this with um, Instagram and social media. I mean, I'm, a, I'm not a Facebook guy, but I, lo I love Instagram. Um, you just see the talent all over the world. And you don't have to read a caption, just look at the look pictures. Look at the pictures, and the work has gotten so great mm. in, in the last uh, decade. And, and there's work being done all over the place. Did you go to Monster Palooza? I did, I was there so, on the weekend. So that, is, that, is that why you were here? This was the main reason, plus a prop party this weekend. All right. And Jen's like, we've also had the ADI to us, so just all. Yeah. It's been two weeks of just. I love it. Prop so, fun. so always around the time of uh, Monster Palooza, there's people who sheepishly send emails. Can I take a tour? You know, and 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 if it's possible, and especially if I know the person's work from from Instagram, um, then we'll have people come over. But it's great to meet people that way. And I think I think I mentioned to you that uh, we we have gotten a, a few employees from these tours. When when we donate a tour, there's usually someone tags along who's really you know yeah. very interested. And, and um, so we've met some really talented people uh, that way, so, yeah. I think it was when I asked you about the bleeder holes on your sculpture, you're like, how do you know that? <laughs> oh, about, this, about the, uh, the Spider-Man? No, the that casting that of your... Oh, that's right. This. That's yeah, when yeah, I yeah, identified yeah. you as, a, as, as more like, oh, okay, this guy. And then you said, <laughs> you, you might want to check out my YouTube channel, which has more subscribers than ours. So I was like, oh, God, this guy <laughs> really is deep into this. Well, that's the thing, and I told everyone about your amazing YouTube channel because you've got all this archive footage that you guys shot yes. from all your gigs. Um, the first one I saw was your Green Goblin animatronic, which yeah, is my makeup. favorite. Yep. Um, and you know, suiting up Tobey Maguire in the right. suit. And you got all the stuff from Starship Troopers. So guys, again, I will link Studio ADI yes. in the video description. Yeah, if you're a cosplayer, you'll love, uh, if you're into the Predator or the Alien, we've got tons of that. We got one very popular video that's just us suiting up Ian White as the predator, the wolf predator. Yep. And it's just an unbroken, unnarrated. I mean, I like to just dump stuff up there. Mm. Uh, people, if people request, you know, can you do some voiceover on it? We'll go back and we'll do some voiceover over, over the videos. But I just love the visuals of it. I think there's so much to be gleaned from just looking at stuff. 
And then I also get a kick out of it when people come back and they go, what's that material? I saw something in the background. I'm dying to know. You know, that's, I like that when people are just, because there's so much information out there now, which is in part why the craft has been elevated, because there's so many people doing it. But it, there's also something to be said for having to like work your way through it and yeah. figure shit out yourself. And like, I didn't have this material or that. So like the like the folks in Ireland, the little kid, um, uh, the Ga uh, Gallagher Murphy and his family made a little um, uh, uh, a uh, predator suit for him, and they didn't have uh, ethafoam and yeah. L200 and stuff, so they they bought um, yoga mats and cut that up. You That's know. what everyone's using. That's these days. very. Are they literally using yoga mats? Yeah, for, for that is so clever. Yeah. I love it. It's so clever. Like for me, I can like I know the materials, and we're in LA, and we can just send a runner out to get all the you know quote unquote proper stuff. Mm -hmm. But finding those other solutions is its own form of genius and creativity and, and I, I think that's fantastic to be honest like working here has just been a dream come true because obviously your studio has been a big influence on what I started doing and like it's just it feels like mates hanging out there's no yeah like that no one feels higher than anyone else we are we are definitely putting on a false front for you because uh, you're gonna make a video and then we know you'll say uh, nice things about us it's pretty dictatorial here we are assholes so as soon as I hit stop you're kicking me out pretty much you li yeah if you're if your numbers on YouTube drop um, yeah no sorry no, sorry mate sorry mate it's back to the bullet <laughs> with you well Alec thank you so much for yeah, having me this much. week I really appreciate you, you did a great job with this stuff it exceeded thank my, you. Uh, my hopes so um, I, and I'm, I'm, I'm glad to have met you and I hope that when you're back um, I will be do back some more collaborations definitely because I have a this is um, you know uh, a small part of a larger project and as I as it all starts to come together and I, 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 I you know get enough time to to pull the script together, um, there's going to be a lot more fun stuff, and I, I think your talents. You showed me some it. pretty fun concept drawings yesterday. I won't release those yet. No, but let but me in just time, say they're wild. <laughs> in time, I want to. I want to make this movie in a way that um, uh, uh, you know is is a little more transparent than studios normally do it, where they're preciously holding on to everything, yeah. and then they put out a trailer that shows everything anyway. Yeah. So, uh, so I, 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 I'm happy to. Uh, to let fans uh, see what we're doing, because I, I, I think as a fan myself, I love that. So we'll continue the magic. You know? You're a big kid. I am. It's the best. I, way I, to you be. know, I, I I won't say that I that I that I never grew up, but you have to learn how to hold on to the the child. Uh, yeah. Otherwise, I wouldn't have done it for as long as I've done it. So. That's it. Anyway. Absolutely. Excellent, guys. Thank you so much for thank watching, you. Alec. Thank you again. How good your Aussie accent? Um, so my, a little more so my outro was cosplayers do it best. Yeah. Try and do that in your best Aussie accent. Is it the George Miller version? Cosplayers. What is it? Cosplayers. Cosplayers do it best. Cosplayers do it best, mate. That was like Mick Taylor and George <laughs> <Yeah>. Miller. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing at this point. Thank you all.